Well, today is typically one of the busiest travel days of the year as families reunite for Thanksgiving. We got a live look for you at I-70 near the Evergreen exit. A little hard to see out there. It can get backed up in the busy travel times. It hasn't been too bad so far. AAA does expect more than 53 million Americans to travel this holiday. Our Kelly Worthman continues our team coverage tonight with a look at the impact of those high gas prices on travel. Thanksgiving has always traditionally been largely a road trip holiday. If you're hitting the road this Thanksgiving, you're in good company. AAA estimates some 840,000 Coloradans are road tripping for the holiday. It's good news and bad news. The bad news is that traffic is back, but the good news is traffic is back because we're able to spend time with our loved ones again, which for many might be the first time in a couple years. That's true for Christina, who's driving to Kansas City to visit family. She's been looking forward to the trip, but not so much the cost to get there. It's definitely a deep dive into my wallet to fill up. In fact, Coloradans are paying more for fuel than the national average. Yeah, gas prices in Colorado are at $3.50 on average per gallon. That's the highest point it's been since Thanksgiving 2011 for this time of year. We checked prices around the state and found the cheapest gas is in Fort Morgan. Regular unleaded fuel costs $2.65 a gallon. Along the I-25 corridor, prices are closer to $3 and climb upwards of $4 in the high country. Some of the priciest pumps we found were in Silverthorne at $4.29 a gallon. Gas prices are high, which is frustrating, but gas prices almost always are a sign of a recovering economy. For Victor and Shannon, gas prices may not be the most frustrating part of their trip. I wouldn't say that the gas prices necessarily influenced our decision to go or not. Instead, it's the extra pit stops to get Pepper out of their car vent. And look at her, oh baby doll. <laughs> And we should let you know, Pepper the cat is okay. Four months old, she likes to get wherever she can, I suppose. Now, AAA says that gas prices should drop off a little bit here after Thanksgiving and pick right back up in time for Christmas. AAA also says that Colorado's gas prices should stay over the national average well into 2022. Reporting live in Denver, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First.